concerned about your health during a pandemic? Do you feel like you're losing control of the situation? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be providing you with information about seven tips for coping with pandemic related stress. Any pandemic is distressing regardless of what perspective you're checking it out. Clinics, long lasting work hours, or you know, just being tired from covering from places to places. But that is, you know, despite the fact that the world measures safety against contamination. Now, for example, you're waiting with uneasiness with respect to whatever is going on in the in the you know the economy when there's a pandemic. But most importantly, know you're in good company to encounter a higher than normal feeling of anxiety due to a pandemic. So it's normal to feel a sense of fear during a pandemic because you know we're psychologically made up well-being to be adversely impacted by anything externally that does not serve our purpose. Now, furthermore, some surveys reveal that pandemics have harmed people's actual well-being and the money that you know they have available. Now, fortunately, there are a few things that you can do to you know get get your brain to calm down, get your emotions to just you know settle down. And um, some well-being specialists they share their best tips on adapting to pandemic stress. So, my dear busy mom. This video contains information that you need to know about pandemic stress and stress according to the health experts. Not from Gem Exclusive, but from the health expert. So everyone knows that pandemic stress, you know, it leads on to a number of questions like the pandemic has constrained large numbers of us, you know, to be able to go out and do what we previously did, right? So consider the possibility that I might lose my employment. So some people might be considering that, oh my God, with the pandemic, right? Then I can become ill as well and not be able to work. Consider the possibility that a friend or a family member becomes ill. Or it can be that, you know, these questions are hovering over, you know, our heads. However, you can use um, these uncertain times to potentially benefit. Now, basically, responding to your inquiries can assist you with laying out plans you never thought you needed, knowing that who would you call and where would you go in the chance that you become extremely ill could assist you in having less anxiety when it comes to looking out. Now, you might have a different work day based on a pandemic. For example, you used to work a particular schedule with, with, the, with the pandemic. You're stripped of a number of, you know, schedules in based on your work. For example, you know, your principal week could, you could be, you know, telecommuting, commuted. It could have been also good to, you know, wear different type of clothing during a pandemic consistently while you have to deal with your, you know, different types of, um, friendship work because you might have to be you know isolated from each other however dressing appropriately for the, the pandemic for example if it was the covid when they said wear the mask you have to be wearing a mask over your face now every day to work gloves and all of those kind of dress code has changed because of a pandemic you know and basically business structure from business to business, and sometimes you're at home during the isolation period. Another tip now is, you know, at the end of a normal work day with a virtual drive, you know, clear your head of a couple of moments in the, when you send out your last work, email or anything, then you no, know, you could, you know, take a walk, a drive, um, to clear your head before, you know, you go home. Now, this can be essentially straightforward for, you know, persons watching news, keeping abreast of what's going on, attempting to do nothing from the time, you know, you take the drive from work to go home. You just try to de-stress your minds. Now, my dear mothers, you have to monitor the amount of time you spend watching the news. This is very, very important because the news can be very terrifying. 
particularly during a pandemic. And this is by no means the, the news, you know, works for us, giving us the, the truth. But finding out about the rising in loss of lives and the monetary, you know, enduring of other people who lost their positions might, you know, incur a frenzy or a fear among us because when you're watching the news that's constantly telling you about people dying or losing their job that cannot be good for our health now quit you know watching all this news consuming all this bad information and um you know set a little period every day to get up to speed with the news but don't just dwell on news all day and the key is to put your telephone down as well it's a mood killer because your television once that um a portion time is finished do whatever it takes to not get back to the news until the next day. So when you watch a portion of news, separate yourself from news until the next day to, you know, de-stress. And make sure you take care of what you can control. So with the pandemic, you know, many individuals, they self-assess the amount of control they possess over their life. And they may or may not be able to, you know, we can't just have a magic moment like existing and vanish all that we don't need to disappear right you know in all things we do have control over some things but we don't have control over everything so assuming that you stress over getting presented to by a pandemic situation each time you, you know you take off from your home you know you have to get to a certain location as opposed to you know having zero control over the environment you're going in make sure you try to get yourself into a calm state you know decrease your need to get any disease during a pandemic by being fully immunized and standing away from others wearing the right equipment like if you have to wear a mask a face shield um gown gloves you know also during the pandemic you have to stay focused so at the point when you look at what your life is looking like during the pandemic and the pre-pandemic pre -pandemic time, there's a strong opportunity that you will get, you know, somewhat a little bit agitated. So quit looking at what's gone behind, push ahead and, you know, think back less on the times that were better and stay focused on the present and what you can do. So my dear busy mothers, always aim to fill your days with good news many pandemic stories have been you know very off-putting and there are appears to be a lot of issues of isolation and unhappiness you know anytime your own condition seems to be getting very critical then i would advise you to let go of those awful situations from your mind and also do not beat upon yourself you have to exercise patience with yourself, my dear busy mothers. Now, persistence is a significant achievement. And it's extra, you know, good during a pandemic. Because during the pandemic, you should figure out how to change and adapt to the situation presented without becoming ill from, you know, lethal infections. So give yourself an opportunity to adjust and excuse yourself when you can't keep up with the work, pace, efficiency, and uh, life in general. Now, this is certainly a long distance race as opposed to a run, simply because, you know, we are conceivably wanting to unite with people to have those human, um, com you know, connection right so basically you know you don't want to be able to tune out yourself totally you want to call your friends on the phone always aim for doing healthy habits now during the pandemic there may be a lot of things that you have to be mindful of making care of sanitation and everything so make sure you're doing always always doing healthy habits because it significant stuff like resting working out eating nutritious food you know a variety of nutritious food and basically exercising it keeps you psychologically and actually self-aware and as sound and conscious as you can be now this the things that you should be be mindful about laying out strict schedules around these way of life that has 
become a change with the pandemic. So during the wild, tumultuous, chaotic times, always have a schedule. Likewise, you must have some control over your time management, what you're gonna alloc allocate your time to. So these are beneficial things to you to ensure you have a good, good um, scheduled list of things that you prioritize. So, you know, my dear busy mothers, even though there's a pandemic, a pandemic is never a good time for anyone. So do not feel overwhelmed. Do not become overwhelmed with anything. Just tell yourself, this too shall pass. I hope you enjoy watching this video as much as I enjoy creating it for you. Check the link in the description box below to see the list of more awesome informative videos on finance, decluttering, fitness, self-care, among others. So please check out my channels and please subscribe as well, share and leave a comment below. Um, I invite you to join me when I upload another video for you busy mothers. So hit the notification bell so that you will be informed when I upload yet another video. So leave a comment. What are some of your pandemic, you know, situations that you have survived and you could leave a notification so other mothers can see how you, um, you know, develop a sense of calm how you have survived all this busyness with your family and yourself and came out mentally strong, all right? Because, you know, during the pandemic, we can lose focus. We can also become daunted. And my busy moms, let me tell you, you are a superhero already. You just need that extra push from somebody who has been through it to help you to go through it. All right, so like I said, check my other videos, my other informative videos for you. All right, and join me on another video. And I do hope that you practice all safety measures during a pandemic and even after a pandemic. All right, so my busy mothers, you stay safe and I do hope you enjoyed my channel. Bye.